Hi, good morning, students. So, in this section, we are discussing about the effect of catalysts. What are catalysts? Catalysts are the substances which alter the rate of the reaction without participating in a chemical reaction. Okay, a substance which alter the rate of the reaction without participating in a chemical reaction is called a catalyst. After the reaction, the catalyst can be collected with, without any change. They do not undergo any permanent change. So that can be the catalyst can be used again. Catalyst can be used again. So let's consider the reaction. In Haber process, in Haber process, N2 plus H2 gas, N2 gas plus H2 gas gives NS3 gas, 2 NS3 gas. In Haber process, iron is used as a catalyst. In Haber process, iron is used as a catalyst. Another one is contact process. In contact process, the preparation of sulfuric acid, the sulfur dioxide is converted into sulfur trioxide in the presence of vanadium pentoxide, V2O5, and is oxidized by SO2 plus O2. So, 2 SO2 plus O2 gives 2 SO3. Okay, so in contact process, vanadium pentoxide is used as a uh, catalyst. Another example, in the decomposition of potassium chloride, KClO3, it is enhanced by using manganese dioxide as a catalyst. So, balancing the reaction, 2 KClO3 gives 2 KCl plus 3O2. The rate of the reaction is increases by adding manganese dioxide. Are you clear? Okay, once again. For a reaction, the rate in increase you, decrease you, which is the substance in a catalyst. For a catalyst, the rate in increase you, a catalyst in a positive catalyst. For a catalyst, the rate in a decrease you, negative catalyst. So we will discuss this in the next chapters of first chemistry in detail. Mechanism of catalysis, uh, different type of catalysis, heterogeneous, homogeneous catalysis, shape selective catalyst, etc. We will discuss in the next chapter. So in this chapter, we are discussing about the, the effect of catalyst uh, on the rate of the reaction. And the action of catalyst is explained by the formation of an activation complex or an intermediate. As we discussed in the last class. What are activation complexes? Reactants collide to form an intermediate. That intermediate dissociates into the product. So the, uh, the influence of catalyst is explained by the formation of intermediate or activation complex. Okay, then the uh, activation complex is a temporary stage. Sometimes it is also known as transition stage. Okay, it has partial reactant character, partial product character. If the product are more stable, it decomposes into product. If the reactant is more stable, it back into the reaction side or reactant side. So it is explained by taking one plot, one graph. Here we plot potential energy versus reaction coordinates. Potential energy versus reaction coordinates. Ah, reactants. So reactants combines to form an activation complex. The peak of the plot, so the peak of the curve is the energy of the activation complex. This activation complex decomposes gives product. So the energy required to form an activation complex 
the energy required to form an activation complex is called the activation energy okay the energy required to form an activation complex is known as activation energy then this plot this curve is without a catalyst the reaction without a catalyst okay the curve is reaction without the catalyst when we add a catalyst or the reaction is takes place at the surface of the catalyst the activation energy decreases lowering the activation energy what happens the reactant combines to form activation complex very fastly and hence the rate of the reaction increases okay now the energy barrier is decreases the energy barrier decreases and thus the rate of the reaction increases are you clear the energy barrier decreases the activation complex is easily formed because the activation energy is decreases and therefore the reaction is faster so this is the effect of catalyst on the rate of the reaction and what is the function of catalyst in the reaction the function of catalyst in the reaction is catalyst to provide an alternate path catalyst gives another path for the reaction okay suppose this is a mountain okay then uh, the person uh, standing here goes to the next side this is a difficult task okay then if there is a way like this okay in the mountain or the hill there is another way this is the difficult way to overcome the mountain this is a uh, difficult way so there is suppose there is another path to reach the other side of the mountain like this okay the task is easy somewhat easy not easy somewhat easy so similarly a catalyst to provide an alternate to path catalyst to matu path matu vadi varunu ആദ്യം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അത്രയും ആക്ടിവിഷൻ എഴുതി ഫോം ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റാതെ വരുമ്പോൾ കാറ്റലിസ്റ്റ് എഴുതി ചെയ്ത് മറ്റൊരു പാത്ത് ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് കൊടുക്കുകയാണ് സോ ദ റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ റിയാക്ഷൻ ഇൻക്രീസസ് ആൻഡ് വൺ മോർ തിങ് കാറ്റലിസ്റ്റ് ഡു നോട്ട് അഫക്ട് ദാൽപ്പി ഓഫ് ദ റിയാക്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ സീ ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ എന്താൽപ്പി ഓഫ് റിയാക്ഷൻ വിത്ത് കാറ്റലിസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് വിത്തൌട്ട് കാറ്റലിസ്റ്റ് ദ എന്താൽപ്പി ഓഫ് റിയാക്ഷൻ ഡസ് ഇൻ ചേഞ്ച് so catalyst do not affect the enthalpy of the reaction another one is it do not change the gibbs free energy or gibbs energy are you clear then catalyst do not change the equilibrium constant catalyst do not change the equilibrium constant however catalyst helps to attain the equilibrium very fastly and you have to see it here okay without a catalyst the energy is higher by lowering the activation energy catalyst helps to attain the equilibrium very fastly and therefore the rate of the forward reaction and backward reaction is more are you clear yes once again onodi parayam catalyst add cheyumbo activation energy kore ആക്ടിവേഷൻ എനർജി കുറഞ്ഞാലും എന്നാൽപ്പി ചേഞ്ചോ ഗിബ്സ് എനർജിയോ ഇക്വിലിബ്രിയം കോൺസ്റ്റന്റോ മാറുന്നില്ല ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല പക്ഷേ കാറ്റലിസ്റ്റ് ഇക്വിലിബ്രിയം അറ്റൈൻ ചെയ്യാൻ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യും കാറ്റലിസ്റ്റ് ഹെൽപ്സ് ടു അറ്റൈൻ ദ ഇക്വിലിബ്രിയം വെരി ഫാസ്റ്റ്ലി അതുകൊണ്ട് റിയാക്ഷന്റെ റേറ്റ് കൂടും ഫോർവേഡ് റിയാക്ഷനും ബാക്ക്വേഡ് റിയാക്ഷനും ഈസി ആയിട്ട് നടക്കും അപ്പൊ റിയാക്ഷന്റെ റേറ്റ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യും ഇതാണ് കാറ്റലിസ്റ്റിന്റെ ഇഫക്ട് ആൻഡ് സം അതർ ടൈപ്സ് ഐ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ഹിയർ 
Er, energy of the reactants. What is Er? Energy of the reactants. Ep, energy of the products. Energy of the products. Then Et, threshold energy. Okay, threshold energy. The energy required to the, the minimum amount of kinetic energy required to make an effective collision or activation complex. Okay, as I already told you, collisions make activation complex. So the minimum amount of kinetic energy required to make an effective collision or form an activation complex is called a threshold energy. So Et is threshold energy. How we can calculate the activation energy Ea? This is the activation energy Ea without a catalyst. So Ea, activation energy Ea is equal to, from the graph can you say that? It is Et, threshold energy minus Er. Okay, activation energy, activation energy of the reactants without a catalyst is Et, threshold energy minus Er. What about delta H or delta E? It is the energy of products minus energy of reactants. For exothermic reaction, this is a plot for exothermic reaction. Okay, reactant have lower energy, sorry, product has lower energy. So for exothermic reaction, Ep minus Er is negative. For endothermic reaction, Ep minus Er is positive. That's about the effect of catalyst on the rate of the reaction. So we move to the last topic in this chapter, collision theory. A very important theory in chemical kinetics. The theory was introduced by Max Strauss and uh, William Lewis in 1916 and 1918. This theory gives an information about the energetic and mechanistic aspects. The collision theory is based on the kinetic theory of gases. As we already know about the kinetic theory of gases, we learn in uh, plus one classes. According to collision theory, the reactant molecules assumed to be hard spheres. According to collision theory, the reactant molecules assumed to hard spheres. Let us discuss the important features of collision theory one by one. The first point is, According to collision theory, a reactant molecules, a reaction takes place when the reactant molecules collide each other. A reaction takes place when the reactant molecules collide each other. When the reaction narakana molecules reactant molecules collide again. Collision narakana jana or reaction narakana. That is the first point about the collision theory. And the second point is, all collisions are not effective. Some collisions are effective, some collisions are ineffective. All collisions not lead into the chemical reaction. Remember that? All collisions not lead into the chemical reaction. The collisions which lead into the formation of products or a reaction takes place is called an effective collision. What is effective collision? A collision which results or lead into the chemical reaction is called an effective collision. And the another important factor is the collisions 
റിയാക്ഷനിലേക്ക് പോകണമെന്നില്ല ചില കൊളീഷൻസ് കൊളായ് ചെയ്യും എന്നിട്ട് അവർ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും തിരിച്ചു പോകും സം കൊളീഷൻസ് ആർ ഇന്ന് ഇൻഎഫക്റ്റീവ് ദ റിയാക്ട് മോളിക്യൂൾസ് കൊളായഡ് ആൻഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് ബൗൺസ് ബാക്ക് കൂട്ടിയിടിക്കുന്നു അതേപോലെ തന്നെ തിരിച്ചു പോകുന്നു സം കൊളീഷൻസ് ആർ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് സോ വാട്ട് ആർ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് കൊളീഷൻ എന്താണ് ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് കൊളീഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കൊളീഷൻ നടന്നു കഴിയുമ്പോൾ അതൊരു കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷനിലേക്ക് ലീഡ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ഫോം ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള കൊളീഷൻസിനെ മാത്രമാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് കൊളീഷൻസ് സോ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് കൊളീഷൻസ് ആർ ദ കൊളീഷൻ വിച്ച് റിസൾസ് ഇൻ ദി കെമിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻ ആർ വിച്ച് ലീഡ് ഇൻ ടു ദി ഫോർമേഷൻ ഓഫ് പ്രൊഡക്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ തേർഡ് ഫീച്ചർ ഈസ് ദ കൊളീഷൻസ് പെർ യൂണിറ്റ് ടൈം പെർ യൂണിറ്റ് വോളിയം ഈസ് കോൾഡ് കൊളീഷൻ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഓക്കെ കൊളീഷൻ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ദൻ കൊളീഷൻസ് പെർ യൂണിറ്റ് ടൈം പെർ യൂണിറ്റ് വോളിയം ഈസ് കോൾഡ് കൊളീഷൻ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഒരു യൂണിറ്റ് ടൈമിൽ സേവ് വൺ സെക്കൻഡ് ഒരു യൂണിറ്റ് ടൈമിൽ ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന കൊളീഷൻസിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ കൊളീഷൻ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി അനീസ് മസ്ബി ഇൻ ദി യൂണിറ്റ് വോളിയം ഒരു യൂണിറ്റ് ടൈമിൽ ഒരു യൂണിറ്റ് വോളിയത്തിനകത്ത് ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന കൊളീഷൻസ് ആണ് കൊളീഷൻ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ആൻഡ് കൊളീഷൻ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഈസ് റെപ്രസെന്റഡ് ബൈ ദ ലെറ്റർ കൊളീഷൻ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി ഈസ് ഡിനോട്ട് ആസ് ഇസഡ് So, what is collision frequency? Number of collisions per unit time, per unit volume in a chemical reaction. One chemical reaction is one second to live on down the collisions. That is why we call it collision frequency. And another important thing is activation energy. We know activation energy is the energy required to form activation complexes. and this also affects the activation energy also affect the rate of the reaction by considering a binary reaction a combines with b a binary reaction a binary reaction a is combines with b gives product b the rate is equal to rate of the reaction is equal to e z a b into e raised to minus e a by r t can just compare with the ideal equation k is equal to rate is directly proportional to rate constant k is equal to a into minus e a by r t minus e a by r t okay you just compare it instead of a arrhenius factor the collision frequency factor is at comes the remaining is e raised to minus e by rt okay yes what is z a b z a b is the collision frequency of reactants a and b what is this factor in the last session we detailed discussion okay e raised to ea by rt is the fraction of molecule having kinetic energy equal to or greater than ea okay last class we will discuss the fraction of molecule having kinetic energy equal to or greater than activation energy ea okay then we move to the another important Thing, threshold energy all collisions may may not be effective some collisions are effective so the collision to make effective a collision to make effective the molecule the reacting molecule possesses some kinetic energy and is called threshold energy okay what is threshold energy the minimum amount of energy for reacting molecules to make effective collision one more time 
uh, a collision makes effective all collisions are not effective some collisions are ineffective they just collide and bounce back now chemical reaction occurs so if a collision made to effective the reactant molecule possess some kinetic energy and is called threshold energy and having proper orientation we are coming to that point proper orientation so what is uh, threshold energy threshold energy is the minimum amount of energy of the reacting molecule to make effective collision effective collisions nadathan vendi effective collision nadakkan vendi or molecule nu venda minimum energy aanu threshold energy so threshold energy may be defined as the minimum amount of energy to make effective collision effective collision nadakkan vendittulla energy aanu threshold energy and is denoted by et threshold energy threshold energy is denoted by et we just uh, go through the diagram as we studied just before okay in that diagram et er ev etc given okay we just uh, Uh, refer that diagram. So E T is threshold energy. And another important feature of collision theory is proper orientation. Proper orientation leads to the chemical reaction. Improper orientation do not give any products. Okay, proper orientation leads to the formation of a product, or proper orientation leads to the chemical reaction. improper orientation do not make any chemical reaction they just collide and bounce back okay so another important factor p proper orientation it is also known as probability factor or steric factor probability factor or steric factor and is explained by considering a situation as we already discussed about the for, uh, formation of hydrogen iodide hydrogen molecule and the iron molecule collide to form an activation complex this activation complex decomposes gives hydrogen iodide we consider the same reaction h2 plus i2 gives h i H I and gives two H I. If the molecule is not properly oriented, the reaction will not take place. Okay. Suppose if hydrogen molecule two hydrogen atoms and iron molecule. This is H two molecule. This is I two I two no product is formed. No product is formed. Why the orientation is improper? That is improper orientation. When the molecule comes like this, hydrogen molecule plus I two molecule I two, they meet. complex so the bond is weakened activation complex transition state ac okay not always the current activation complex so this orientation that gives to hydrogen iodide okay two molecules of h i So that's about the proper orientation. Okay, I hope you understand. The improper orientation, the molecule just collide and bounce back. But proper orientation, this is the proper orientation. The proper orientation leads to the 
Activation complex, activation complex decomposes here. Here the bond breaks here. So a bond between hydrogen and iodine is formed. This is hydrogen, this one is iodine. Hydrogen and iodine. Okay? Yes. Again, one more example we consider. A essential reaction of methyl halides or alkyl halides with a, a nucleophile orange minus. Okay, here the reaction between C2H5Br plus OH minus that's lead to the C2H5OH plus Br minus. Now consider this reaction. The molecule is uh, C CH three H H. Then we are bromine is partially negative and carbon is partially positive. When the molecular reacting species OH minus, when the OH minus approaches in this way, there is a repulsion between Br minus and OH minus. Repulsion between Br minus and OH minus. There is no product formation. No product is formed. Okay, now product is formed. And in another situation, C, B, R, delta minus C2, H5, H, H. The nucleophile. You know what is nucleophile? The nucleophile approach this molecule in the rear side. This is partially positive. Br is partially negative. So delta negative, delta positive. In this case, the nucleophile approaches the reactive molecule in the reverse side. Rear side, that's the character thing. Reverse side of the molecule. What happens? OH, a partial bond is formed between carbon and the OH minus. And that's leading to the formation of a intermediate. Formation of a intermediate. This decomposes gives OH C C two H five H H plus Br minus. So a product is formed. Okay. As earlier we discussed the formation of hydrogen iodide. Here we discuss alkyl halide. I think in the NCRT book it is given CH3Br. No problem. Instead of C2, uh, C2H5, instead of C2H5 you write H. Okay. You go through the same example. So here I take C2H5 here. That's why CH2, CH3. The valency of carbon is 4. The nucleophile. This is a nucleophile. And the incoming nucleophile approaches the molecule in the front side. Just to collide and bounce back because of repulsion. Now product is formed. And in the second case, second situation. The nucleophile approaches the reacting molecule in the reverse side, in the rear side of the molecule. What happens? There is no repulsion because of no negative charge. You have a negative charge, you OH minus in the and And thus, the formation of an activation complex, a transition stage. A transition stage is formed here. Uh, all the nucleophile, the nucleophile BR is weaker in its bond. 
and the incoming nuclear file forms a partial bond. That's why we put the dotted lines. So dotted line uh, denotes that partial bond formation. An activation complex decomposes. This bond weakens and Br minus uh, left out from the reactant molecule. So this is a best example for proper orientation. So proper orientation factor also introduced P. P is probability or steric factor. So rate is equal to we come to an equation. Rate is equal to rate depends upon the proper orientation and the collision frequency. We already discussed. Okay, we uh, already discussed about the collision frequency. Into E raised to minus E A by R T minus E A by R T. Then also we know that rate is directly proportional to rate constant. So in some other textbook the equation is given like this. K is equal to rate is directly proportional to rate constant. So K is equal to P is that is that A B. Then uh, E raised to minus E A by R T minus E A by R T. These two equations you memorize. Okay, this is the equation derived by using collision theory. From Arrhenius equation, there is a one change. P is a proper orientation under collision frequency. Okay, that's about the collision theory. Any doubt you can uh, ask. Then we move to a small topic. It is not in the NCRT book. For competitive examination, just understand about the effect of radiation on the rate of a reaction. Effect of radiation on the rate of a reaction. There are some reactions which take place in the presence of light or radiation. Such reactions are called photochemical reactions. The rate of such reactions are influenced by the presence of radiation. As we know that light contains photons. Light, a photon means light. Photoelectric electrons, photons, etc. We land in the plasma classes. The photon absorbed by the reactant molecules to uh, make activation complex. The reactant molecules absorb light and they form activation complex. So light gives energy, activation energy and the reaction takes place. Okay, so the best example is photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, the carbon dioxide and water combines only in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. That's linked to the formation of carbohydrates, C6, H12O6, glucose, fructose, etc. So that reaction is uh, influenced by the rate, influenced by the presence of light. Another example is H2 plus Cl2 in the presence of H2 or UV light to HCl is formed. This is an example of a zero reaction also. So higher and chlorine in the presence of H2, it is an example of photochemical reaction. In the first step, mechanism of this reaction in the first step. In the first step, uh, Cl2 plus H2 or Cl2 in the presence of H2 or UV lines gives Cl free radical plus Cl free radical. You know what are the free radicals? Okay. Unshared low species having unshared electron. In the second step, 
H2 plus Cl free radical is HCl plus H free radical. Okay, the Cl free radical combines with H2 form HCl and H free radical. Then H free radical plus Cl2 gives HCl plus Cl free radical. And the reaction is going on. It is a chain propagation. This step is initiation. You just refer the reactions in the organic chemistry. Okay. Substitution reaction. Okay. Substitution by free radical mechanism. This is a propagation step. Propagation. The reaction is propagated. Cl free radical combines with the hydrogen for which is here. And the last step is termination. Termination step. Cl free radical plus Cl free radical gives Cl2. H free radical plus H free radical gives H2. Or H free radical plus Cl free radical gives HCl. This is the termination step. Okay. This is the one of the best example for photochemical reaction. And next small topic, photosensitizer. Photosensitization. Photosensitization reaction. CO2 plus uh, H2O gives C6H2O6 in the presence of HU, sunlight. The sunlight do not make the reaction. Okay, in the presence of sunlight, carbon dioxide and the water molecule do not react. And there is a substance, you know, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll make the reaction. That's why the chlorophyll is known as photosensitizer. Such a reactions are called a photosensitization reaction. A small topic. Once again, I explain. In some cases, some photochemical reaction, the light not only gives the products, some other substances gives the products or the reaction occurs only that substances. The substances added is known as photosensitizer. The best example is photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide and water combines not with the presence of light. Light and chlorophyll. So here chlorophyll is the photosensitizer and the reaction is called photosensitization reaction. Okay. I already told you this is not in the NCRT book. You just study, understand the concepts. Another example is blue wave. Okay, you know that uh, at the dark, the glow wave gives light. The chemical is luciferin. Luciferin. And the photosensitizer, the catalyst is luciferase. The, it ab absorbs the IR, infrared, and it gives the visible light. So luciferin absorbs the light only in the presence of luciferase. The reaction is catalyzed by luciferase. Luciferin, the substance is luciferin and is catalyzed by luciferase. Okay? So, we finish the chemical kinetics uh, from the uh, beginning itself. Uh, I just uh, rewind rate of the reaction, average rate, instantaneous rate, order of the reaction, then molecularity of the reaction, elementary reaction, complex reactions, integrated rate equation, four zero order and first order reaction, then pseudo order reaction, 
the next is temperature dependence arrhenius equation maxwell boltzmann curve then uh, uh, explanation of uh, arrhenius equation by using graph arrhenius equation at a different temperature t1 and t2 and the effect of catalyst finally we discuss the collision theory and the press the effect of radiation on the reaction range okay so please uh, write the exercise into your book okay please you you complete the exercise which is given in the back side of the uh, this chapter so please complete it and any doubt you can ask thank you